In this video, we're going to look at two topics in the Integrating Essential Skills category, and those topics are rates and proportions. So when we're talking about rate, we're looking at a ratio where the terms in the ratio have different units. So examples of that might be miles per hour, or meters per second, or dollars per unit. So we want to pay attention to the units and what quantity the question's asking when they give us a given rate, because that's going to be important. This is also a topic that if you've had chemistry and you've had to be concerned with units as you've been doing calculations, this is another area where that would help you in terms of looking at rates and that sort of thing. You just you want to make sure you're working in whatever units that you're being asked for. Let's say here in this example, if you're given a speed in miles per hour, but you're asked how many miles one drives in so many minutes, you're going to have to do a conversion because we were given miles per hour, but we're asking for minutes. So we have to do that conversion, 60 minutes in one hour. So most ACT type questions that we see on the test that deal with rate are in the form of a word problem. So now let's talk a little bit about proportions. So with proportions, we're talking about parts or shares of something. But mathematically, with a proportion, we're saying two ratios are equal. That's what we want to do. We want to set the ratios are in proportion. So for example here, one-third is equal to three-ninths. Those two values there, our ratios are in proportion. So things can be in proportion with respect to size or shape. And when we're talking about that, for example, if we have a particular shape, let's say a triangle, and if we say two different triangles are in proportion, then each of the three legs of the triangle are each going to be in proportion to one, of one another of the two triangles. So when we want to solve for unknown in a proportion, we can set the two ratios equal to one another and then cross multiply. So for example, if you have this type of problem and we're asked to find the value of x, we can cross multiply, and so we multiply across the 4 times 20 and the 5 times x, and now we're going to be able to solve for x when we simplify both sides, and we get that x is equal to 16. So let's take a look at an ACT type example. Pause the video here, work this question, and come back and we'll work it together. So the question says two lamps are proportional to one another. If the smaller lamp is 4 inches wide, by 9 inches tall, and the taller lamp is 16 inches tall, how wide in inches is the taller lamp? So here we have, we're talking about a proportion relative to size of these two lamps, and we're given the dimensions of the smaller lamp, and we have one dimension on the taller lamp, but we want to know what the second one is. So one way we can set up the proportion is we can set up the widths on the left-hand side and the height on the right-hand side. And when we do that, we have the, we were given the smaller width of four over our unknown x, and we set that equal in proportion to the nine over 16, which is the heights of the smaller over the larger. We'll crisscross and multiply, and we get nine x equals to four times 16. And when we simplify, we get x is equal to 7.11 inches. Answer choice B.